what's good everyone we be is back with another video in this video um, it's gonna be a top 10 once again uh, but this one's gonna be top 10 terror classes um, so without further ado um, let's get into this shit um, and I'll let you know what my top what my 10 favorite classes to be in Terra are all right let's get into it All right, sitting at number 10, we have Brawler. Um, so, I am one that absolutely loves his tank class. His tank classes when I play an RPG. Um, that's why Crusader is one of my favorites of uh, Diablo. Um, so the brawler is a hand-to-hand -hand specialist uh, that wears heavy armor and is considered a tank. Um, and being a tank naturally means he's going to uh, be able to take heavy damage, um, but he can also dish heavy damage. Um, But I haven't used him a whole lot uh, in the time I've played Terra. Uh, mostly because I don't exactly like the look of the Brawler. But um, he is a tank. And what I have used of him, I did actually like. Um, but on that note, I think it's time to move on. Alright, sitting at number 9, we have the Sorcerer. Um, the Sorcerer is um, one of the hard-hitting, damage-dealing um, mage classes. Um, they use all sorts of magic. Uh, as you can see, they've got burst DPS. Um, they use l uh, light equipment. Uh, the complexity is not very bad. Um, and then... Their offensive is pretty high, and then their support is pretty high. Um, so, sorcerers uh, are probably are, are definitely one of my favorite uh, mage classes um, in all of um, Terra. Um, so yeah, but on that note, I think it's time to move on. All right, sitting at number eight, we have uh, the warrior, who is another tank, but a different kind of tank. Um, they're they're an evasive tank, as you can clearly see, um, or sustained. DPS and their melee obviously um, so their tank ability uh, is pretty good um, their offense is pretty good their support uh, is about the same as their tanking but their complexity is really high so honestly I wouldn't suggest this for new players um, as complexity is pretty high for um, this particular class um, but, uh, from what I've played of them, they're actually pretty fun to play. Um, so highly recommend once, uh, y'all are no longer new players, or if you want to test it out as a new player, go right ahead. Who am I to tell you what to do? Um, but my recommendation is start with one of the easier classes, um, and then work your way up to a more complex one, such as the warrior. Um, but that being said, uh, I think it's about time to move on. All right, sitting at number seven, we have uh, the Slayer. Um, the Slayer is not a tank like most of the other melee combatants in the game. 
Um, he's actually considered a burst DPS melee with light armor. Um, so he's basically just a damage dealer. Uh, he's got good offense, good support. However, uh, he's got more complexity than the warrior class. So highly, highly recommend not doing this as a new player. Um, but I won't stop you. Um, that being said, uh, I think it's time to move on. Alright, sitting at number 6, we have the Archer. Um, archers are good for uh, nice sustained uh, range damage. Um, uh, they are very complex. Their offensive is a little lacking compared to support. But all in all, they're a good... Uh, they're, they're nice uh, class to be for uh, burst... Uh, for sustained DPS. Um, highly recommend this class for new players. Um, you know, with the whole complexity being so low that even a child could play it basically um actually uh right now this is my highest level on my steam account so i do have an archer of my own that is pretty high level um but that being said i think it's time to move on All right, sitting at number five, we have the Reaper. Um, unfortunately, um, the Reaper is the only class that has an actual level requirement. Um, you have to have a, another uh, character that is level 40 or higher um, to create a Reaper character, um, which is pretty hard to do. Um, but I have played it a little bit on uh, the PlayStation. Uh, maybe I'll upload a video about my Reaper uh, for the PlayStation. But um, I don't remember what their complexity is, their uh, offensive or support. Uh, I do know they do do high damage. So when, when you start with a uh, Reaper class, uh, you start in a different area than you do for every other class. Um, with higher leveled monsters, uh, but you are also higher leveled. Um, so for the PlayStation, my Reaper is actually my highest level because you start off as level 50. Um, so you start off with level 50. And uh, that being said... Um, my Reaper uh, occasionally will one-shot level 50 monsters as a level 55. Um, so, that being said, um, obviously it's not for new players because it is a level... It, it does have a level requirement for someone... For one of your other characters. Um, but, that being said, um, I think it's time to move on. Alright, sitting at number 4, uh, we have the Valkyrie. They have burst DPS, melee, light armor. Um, they are also one of the only one of the classes that has a gender requirement as well as a species requirement. Um, so, um, there are two uh, races that can um, be a Valkyrie, and that is the Castanic as well as the Ellen. Um, but if you are a Castanic, you can only be a female Castanic. Ellens are already purely female. Um, but I do like this one because they've got quick, um, quick attacks and they do a lot of damage. Um, as you could, as you can see, the offensive, uh, is pretty freaking good um complexity is pretty high though um about as high as the warrior 
but support's also pretty high. Um, so don't exactly recommend for uh, beginners, but again, it's your choice. You know, don't don't let me sway you either way. If you want to use a Valkyrie, go right ahead. Uh, that being said, uh, I think it's time to move on. Sitting at number three, we have the Priest, which is a healer, uh, buff damage. It, it, it's got buffs, uh, ranged robes for armor. Um, as you can see, the complexity is pretty high. Uh, offensive is really low, uh, so they aren't too much of damage dealers. Um, I have noticed uh, playing a priest that uh, if you go to low level areas uh, with like a level 20 or so, you can one shot most things. Um, healing's really high as like one of the only, if not the only, um, healer in the entire game. Um, but and then support is uh, pretty good as well, being a support-based class. Um, I, I've enjoyed playing a priest. Um, it, I highly recommend if you plan on making a guild or a party, having a priest in there, um, or a couple of them. That way you could do uh, some some battles together and have a healer on your side um but that being said uh, i think it's time to move on sitting at number two we have um the lancer which is a mitigation tank melee heavy armor uh you know what it is complexity is stupid high um and tanking is really high. Uh, support is decent. And uh, offensive damage is decent. Um, so the Lancer actually was my first um, foray into uh, Terra for the PlayStation. I decided to go with a Lancer uh, because my first class uh, ever playing in Terra was a Ninja. Um, so, I, I decided to try something else, try a, uh, tank character, and I absolutely love the Lancer. Uh, the Lancer is absolutely fantastic, um, at tanking stuff, um, which is, like, his entire job, but, um, it, he's just fantastic. Uh, my highest level other than my reaper in my playstation version um is a uh lancer sitting at like level 46 or something um which is pretty good considering it's been six levels since i made my reaper class now um but uh yeah uh lancers are absolutely fantastic for tanks um, if you want a good tank character, highly recommend the Lancer. Um, but any of the tanks on this list are fantastic tanks. Uh, but that being said, I think it's time to move on. All right. Now for number one. So this is the Ninja class. So the ninja class is absolutely my favorite, which is weird. Uh, most of the time, I typically um, will do tanks as my favorite. However, the ninja uh, has grown on me, and I, I swear to God, it's not just because the only race that can be them are animal girls. I swear to God. I swear to God. <laughs> um, but um, they're, they're pretty good. Uh, they're quick um they've got some good support good offense complexity is not too high um 
uh, but they're absolutely fantastic. I absolutely love them. Um, and apparently I can learn Apex skills, and I don't know what Apex skills are. Uh, hold on. Oh. I don't think my ninja in any of them has any of those. Um, but on that note, um, ninjas are absolutely fantastic. Um, they, their only weapon is a giant, uh, shuriken, um, that they throw around or use it for, uh, uh, physical combat. Um, but on that note, I think that's it for this video. Um, please remember, uh, if you like my content, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, also go follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash lordweebius. I'd love to see you there. Um, I try to stream weekly. Uh, usually it's about, uh, once, a, uh, once or twice every two weeks though. Um, which is unfortunate, but... Um, yeah, that's about it for this video. So I'll see y'all later. Hey guys, um, I, I was actually curious, uh, after making my top 10, uh, classes of, um, Terra. Uh, so I was curious, uh, and I wanted to see if there were any other healers, um, in here, uh, because I couldn't think of any. Uh, when I think of healers of Terra, I think of priests. So I looked at all of the other ones, um, and this is the only other healer. Um, so he's this. Uh, so it's a healer support ranged robe. Um, so it's healing. I believe is a bit lacking when it comes to uh, the priest, but its support is actually a higher uh, complexity. I believe is about the same no actually complexity for mystic is higher uh, damage is about the same though um, so uh, there are two options for healers uh, you've got the mystic as well as the priest um, I just want to come in here and let you all know um, so without further ado please enjoy uh, I, well I I guess I hoped you enjoyed uh, my top 10 Terra classes, um, and I'd love to see you in the next video.